good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, we're going to be installing some screen protection for the screens inside of the Toyota Tacoma. This comes from Screen Protect. Now, I've done this before, but I liked it so much, and it was so impressive that I've got to do it on this Tacoma. Not only does it protect the screens, you know, from fingerprints and scratches and all that nasty stuff, but it looks great in the truck too. There is a discount code down below. You can click on that. It'll save you 5% on this awesome product. Now, let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna get it installed. I'll show you how. We are inside the truck. Real quick, this is what you get in the kit. A little squeegee to squeegee the water off or the soapy mixture. The soapy mixture itself, they give you a bottle with the mixture already in it. You just go ahead and fill it up with water actually. Shake it up and you're ready to go. And then of course, the screen protectors themselves. I've got uh, the dual kit in case you screw up one. You shouldn't, but you can order an extra set if you want. That's kind of up to you. We're gonna start with the radio screen area. And the directions say, oh, they also give you a, uh, a cloth to wipe things off. I have an extra one too. I like to sit these down below when I'm spraying just to grab any extra water that might fall uh, or soapy mixture, but that's up to you. So we're gonna start off with the screen in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. Nice wide angle spray, I'll tell you that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and squeegee it off. And this is just to get any uh, dust or anything like that that happens to be on your screen. Obviously you want it to be nice and clear uh, so that you don't have any dust or anything on it. We're gonna be spraying more water on it in a minute so you don't have to get every uh, little bit to the nth degree off. But uh, I do like to make sure I get it nice and thoroughly cleaned. So, pretty much like so. Then we're gonna go ahead with the cloth they gave us. I'm just gonna make sure it's, again, nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it all down. We're gonna go ahead and put another relatively thin layer of uh, solution on it. Enough that it sticks, but not so much that you have to take a ton of it out, you know. So, let's go ahead and do that. Just about like that, I think, is plenty. Then we're going to grab the radio template. That's going to be this one. I'm going to go ahead and peel that off. And then you're supposed to spray some of the solution on the back of the template. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Then we're gonna go ahead and place it on the radio screen, just like so, over the buttons, of course. Uh, make sure we get that all right. Around the little knobs at the bottom. Make sure you have it nice and centered where it's supposed to be, like so. Then you wanna grab your little squeegee again and go ahead and squeegee all of the water as much as you can get out of the back. You may have bubbles in this for a few days. Uh, after about seven to 14 days, they should disappear. So I'm gonna actually spray a little bit on the surface just to make my squeegee slide a little bit better. There we go, that's what I like to see. Need to push that down just a little. Let's go up against the top. You kinda wanna start in the center uh, I'm just going to hit the edges that, uh, there we go, just kind of moving across to get all as many of the air bubbles out as you can. Again, they will fade out themselves after a few days, so it's not that big of a deal, but you want it to look nice and pretty from the beginning, right? Okay, we've got that on, came out really well, pretty simple to do. I mean, if I can do this, you can do it. Um, it is the 
shinier version. They do have a matte version, and there is quite a difference with the matte version if you don't want any glare in the uh, surface that you're looking at. I actually prefer the way this one looks out in the open once it all dries off. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the gauge cluster, and this is where it's even more important, I think. Tacomas seem to be prone to getting a lot of scratches in that gauge cluster. Uh, this is obviously going to help protect. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and clean it off with the soapy solution, and then we're going to spray it again. Spray the back of the cover down there, or the screen protecting material, and go ahead and put it on. All right, we've got the gauge cluster done. Love the way this stuff looks. There are a few bubbles in it. Uh, again, according to the instructions, seven to 14 days, those should go away. Now, lastly, this piano trim area here, I have seen these scratch so badly. It's just a horrible thing to put down there, I think. But we do have a cover for that as well. We're gonna do it the same way. All right, there you go. That is nice and protected. Again, I love the look of this stuff once it's all nice and dry. Uh, it just gives a nice sheen, if you will, to the surface of the gauges. Not to mention, again, it is protected from scratches and stuff like that. That's really the biggest reason to do this. I mean, after all, you buy a cell phone, you go ahead and uh, protect that as well, right? So why wouldn't you protect the screens inside your Toyota Tacoma? That's it. That's the install. There will be a follow-up uh, in the future on it. Uh, again, there is a discount code. I've got the light on on my camera. It just came on automatically. I don't know why. It's probably shining in my glasses. But anyway, there will be a discount code down below. Check that out. 5% off uh, as well as a link to get to the product. If you put this stuff on before from Screen Protect, let me know. I'd be curious to know how it's going and how it went for you. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here, too. Thanks for watching. Stay protected out there. Bye.